Yo, what's up everyone? So today I have a package from the Bollies I just came in with two of their new trainers, one being the Hydra and the other being the Marbles. And as some of you might know, I already have a Hydra. I have the teal version of it. And you might be asking, why did I get another one? Well, that's because I like them a lot and I plan on sharpening one and keeping one dull. So yeah, just a quick heads up. I am still extremely new to the world of ballad songs. I think I've only started flipping about like a month ago. Uh, I started off with this cheap, I think it was like $13, $15 trainer from Amazon, which is heavy as a brick and just does not feel very nice. And eventually I decided to pick up a Volt. And since then I have gotten two Hydras now and now there's marbles. But yeah, so everything I say is in my own opinion as someone who's still very new. I figured maybe there's someone else out there who wants to get into the world of ballad songs and hearing someone else who's also new and their opinions might be of some value to them. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and take a look at them. So here's the package itself, all still wrapped up. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here we have knife number one, let's set that aside. And knife number two. Also before I forget, you do get these cases for the trident, marbles, and hydra. Uh, I guess we'll do this top one first. Set this other one aside. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we have the knife right here. And like I said, I do already have a Hydra. I have the teal one. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and save the knife for last and let's unpackage everything else. So here we have the extra hardware with a T10 bit. And over here in this little cutout, we have... A pipette for the lube they do give you a little sample size lube and it is the super lube which shout out to will hirsch because that lube is amazing uh let's go ahead and put this down here and then we have the loctite and now drum roll please for the knife itself okay so this is the hydra and this is indeed the gold or champagne color one I gotta say, like, even though I already have one, opening this up and seeing it brand new is so nice. And I'll go ahead and put all the specs up for this trainer over on the side of the screen. So there are two versions of the Hydra. This one is the one that looks like a live blade, but is actually very dull. And now that I'm looking at it, I think it has the same exact blade style as the Volt, like with the curve and everything, the buoy style. But yeah. And if you're wondering why my Volt looks like this, I actually use a lot of Zippy Balasong's mods, like these slim caps right here. And for the blade, he makes a blade insert for the Volp, uh, which is these two red parts that you see on the blade. There's little slots where you can insert these uh, little metal balls to adjust the weight of it, which honestly, in my opinion, is a necessity for the Volp. It dramatically increased the enjoyment I get from flipping that. But yeah, back to the Hydra. So first off, one of my favorite parts about the Hydra is the texture that runs down the sides of the handles. Not only does it look really cool in my opinion, but I feel like it deals with that factor that a lot of these aluminum ballast lungs suffer from, which is that slipperiness. And I mean, look at the way Nabalis describes it on their website. Like, how could you not love it? It was a little bit weird at first, but once I got used to it, I actually really like it. Now, I do wish that there was something going down the sides and not just completely bare like this, except for the jumping. Which the jimping is pretty good and does give a good grip when you do ladders. But compared to something like the Volps, I do prefer the Volps jimping. It feels like the Hydras is very similar to that, but just not as pronounced and steep. And for those of you that want to hear a sound test, here you go. Uh, this is it without any lube applied or anything, just straight out the box. And there you go. Now this knife does have a slight handle bias to it. So if you're a fan of that, I think you'll really like it. And I know I don't have much to compare it to, but I gotta say, I really love it. And I guess, you know what? We might as well take a little look at the case right here. And like I mentioned earlier, you do get this case with the Hydra, the marbles, and I'm pretty sure the Trident as well. Let's go ahead and move this plastic out of the way. And you can see there's three slots for your knives. And I mean, if you really wanted a fourth slot, you could cut out this little dividing section down here and have a fourth one. And then all you have to do is latch it back up and you're good to go. And while it might not be the most sturdy case out there, I mean, the fact that Nabalis even includes this is really dope to me. So, I mean, yeah, good job, Nabalis. All right, now that we have the Hydra out of the way, let's take a look at the marbles. 
Okay, immediately I can tell that there's a lot more in this than the last one, that's for sure. Oh wow. Uh, what to start with? I guess these two things, which are, looks like two T6 drivers. I'm assuming that's to take off the bottom part so you can insert the marbles. All right, here we have, pretty sure these are aluminum marbles. And here we have the rubber and translucent marbles, which I think are glow in the dark actually. And next up we have the, pretty sure this is brass marbles. So light, medium, and heavy, and then the rubber stoppers. And here we go with the extra hardware and another T10 bit. And you can't forget this little pipette with the lube, which I think comes with every Nibali strainer. And then of course the Loctite. All right, now time for the main thing here. Let's take this out. Oh, okay, okay. I so I got the silver one and ooh, okay. This thing feels pretty nice. Like even without any of the marbles in it, it does seem pretty light. Uh, the machining on it feels nice. The jumping, I think. Okay, so the marbles, when you put them in there, it acts as jumping. Okay, so it does have a slightly different feeling to the hydras. It feels a little bit more pronounced, tiny bit. I'm sure with like the marbles in it, it'd feel even better. And you do use these little two, I think that's T6 to unscrew that. The machining on it is pretty nice and thick. Like it actually offers a pretty good amount of uh, grip to it. It is a little bit slick, but maybe I just gotta get used to that as well. I can only imagine once I start adding marbles, it'll feel even better. All right, and here you go with the little sound test straight out the box. All right, so first impressions on it. I really like the design of it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I like the design of it a lot. And uh, the blade itself looks really sick. I'm pretty sure it does look like it's the same uh, blade style, the buoy style, as the Hydra and Volp. Oh, okay, yeah, that, uh, that bottle opener is pretty damn sharp. I do not want to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to respect that. I don't want that to hook into my finger. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, let's take a look to see if there's any tap or play. This doesn't seem like it really has any play at all. Definitely no tap, that's for sure. But like, look at that, there's no play. Let's take a look at the Hydra real quick. I know my teal one has developed a little bit of play. No tap, but a little bit of play. I want to see if that's how it was when it first came. Okay, so there is a tiny bit of play. Really no tap, but there is a tiny bit of play. Okay, so I'd definitely say that the Hydra has a little bit more play than the marbles, but that's because the marbles basically has none. But I mean, the play on the Hydra isn't bad either. And I kind of want to test something out here. If you're like me, you don't really care for the color orange a lot. I want to see if these uh, caps will cover up that color. Okay, does a pretty good job. This is one of the translucent colors. That solid one definitely, yeah, that definitely covers it up. So I would say if you don't like the orange on it, definitely get some zippy caps and yeah. So with all that wrapped up and out of the way, or I guess I'm boxed. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video, found some use out of it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, if you're into anything tech related, PC, stuff like that, make sure to check out my main channel at JRose. I am actually working on a review for the Insta360 X3 360 degree camera right now so if you're interested in that definitely make sure to stop by there and subscribe and like i said earlier i do plan on making a more in-depth review for both of these trainers once i get more time on the marbles and get used to it and gather my thoughts on it and i am working on one for the hydra right now as well but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video peace